game to remember. Johnny Silverhand. Basketball fan? That's new. You know what I mean. Another game starting. One where your head's the fucking ball. Thought the same thing. Something nasty's brewing. Fucking storm's what's brewing. Don't let the sunshine fool ya. You're up against seasoned players, whereas you just stumbled onto the court. These are trained sociopaths. Pretend to be your friends while they fucking ain't. So go out and play. Just don't get played. Just come out and say it. You don't trust Myers. No, her type is all. Politicians? <laughs> Worse, armed forces. Saying no to high-ranking cunts like putting your mouth over the barrel of their gun. Get shitty fast if you try to run. Take it from a deserter. <clears throat> what? Trust in a deserter? Kinda contradictory, don't you think? If you're gonna book out of the army, you gotta be honest. Admit you made a mistake. And that, dare I say it, takes fucking guts. Desertion is bravery. Now that's Johnny speak if I ever heard it. Maybe a little. Sue me. One thing I did learn, caked in blood and mud. What was that? After every carrot comes the stick. Allow me to illustrate. Every grunt gets a rifle, flak jacket, and a bunch of promises. Comes a time you're out of ammo, Kevlar's tattered cardboard. And what's left of the promises? Fuck all, I'm guessing. Exactly. And that's when they reach for the stick they call values. Getting shelled in your dugout, chooms are taking refreshing phosphorus showers, and some officers ranting about loyalty and duty. The moment you stop shitting carrots and they wave the value stick, fucking run, rabbit. Run. Got the warning. I'll keep one foot out the door. Too late. Swore an oath to the new fucking United fucking States of America. If you faked it, it makes you a pushover. If you meant it, it makes you a tool. Politicians, military runners, intelligence operatives, and Colonel Hansen for dessert. All the rotten fish in one fucking barrel in this dog town. Don't turn around. Eyes on the court. Ah. Uh. Hands. What you holding? I see you holding. Got this token. Mean anything to you? But I need to make sure. Keeps his cards close, this one. Who sent you? Mutual friend. We don't have mutual <laughs> friends. Friend survived an accident. He might have heard. I might have. Zone defense, that. Keep pushing. Is she safe? <gasps> Hard to say. The longer we sit here. That's it. Dribble around him. Were you followed? Did you even bother to check? Take me for a fucking gonk? An amateur? You sure fooled me. But fine. That I have to do. Black Thornton Merrimack, in the street. Three minutes, front seat. We better leave separately. Don't want anyone to get suspicious. You first. Don't want to be caught holding hands? Reed? Slippery motherfucker. I think we really hit it off. Sure. Bet he's got candy in that van. Ready to find out? Hey, you see the guy I was talking to a millisecond ago? Big guy? Coke looking like he's planning on flashing some kids, huh? Hey, shut it or get lost.
Blackthorn. Look just like one of them. Raccoon. Before we go, apologies for the precautions. I only ever rest so much. Sometimes it's just safer to shove the barrel of a Malorian between a Troon's ribs, even if he is on your side. It's nothing personal. No hard feelings, I hope. Odd introduction, but nice meeting you too, Reed. Not a phrase I often hear in this trade. You're not in the biz, V. Al biz. Actually, I am. Though, just since yesterday. I was about to say your first time's out are the hardest, but... I'm not gonna lie. I combed FIA data for info about you. Interesting profile. Snowman. Back at clan. No longer extent. Now a freelance merc. To make things more interesting, FIA agent. You received your commission last night. One thing eludes me. What drove you to get entangled in this mess? Songbird hired me. Nor? Saw me. Something up? We used to work together. I thought I heard the last about her, but... That girl's a magnet for trouble. Right. It's time we paid our friend in distress a visit. Address, please. Just, uh, FYI. Not so sure you're gonna like it. Try me. Abandoned building on Crest Street, 8th floor. Damn straight, I don't like it. You left her alone? In Dogtown? Was I supposed to drag her along while cruising around? Mm. Actually, look, place seemed plenty safe to me. Safe? A derelict building in Dogtown. Just listen to how that sounds. Hold up. I need to take this. Why are you calling me on my day off? Last I heard, you're the manager. Ask Bob. He owes me a favor anyway. Yeah, well, tough nuts. You'd have to manage without me. man. I work the door at a club. Selection, you know, bouncing. Huh? That your Lilo gig? A bouncer? It pays the bills and nets me a little disposable. Sleeper agents aren't entitled to government pay. Not even under the table. Huh? This is not how I imagine spending my day off. Saving the president? Great action BD shit right there, am I right? Yeah, sure, I guess so. Does my eyes still smoke? Snitches get stitches, man. So that'll be a yes. Not good. When things start to spiral out of control, she's likely to light up. It's high time we help her out.
Let's go. So this is the place. Eighth floor. Yeah. Lead the way. Honestly, this is not inspiring confidence. Relax, Shane alone. Made some new tunes, locals. Introductions were a little dicey, but she turned on the charm. Probably has her Dogtown campaign staff by now. This keeps getting worse and worse. Anyone had tried to extract her forcibly, this whole level would be in shambles. No way she would have gone quietly. Open up. It's me. Yeah, yeah, coming. Don't move a muscle. Fuck's sake. Again? Where is she? That's enough, gentlemen. Put your tools away, gents. Compare length and girth when I'm not around. You the boss. Are you sure? Look around. Positive. Hmm. You remembered my number. Some numbers you never forget. Level with me, Rosalind. You never intended to call that line. Well, I found myself in Night City with a bounty on my head. So it seemed the right moment to reach out, have a tete-a-tete. -tete. Reset an old friendship. I'd offer to sit down and chat over coffee, but the clock's ticking. I need to arrange a passage for you to Washington. No, Reed. We need to talk first, all three of us. Come on, we should talk in private. The President, a merc, and a special agent walk into the Oval Office. Question is, where do I fit into this joke? You've seen the news. Uh huh. Hansen's spin work never fails to amuse. He's not acting purely on his own initiative. Someone from our camp's propping him up. Hansen, any idea who he's in bed with? Rosalind has more enemies than you can count. This shit runs deeper, Reed. I wasn't alone on that flight. I heard so me was on board. Where is she now? V was the last person to talk to her. Most likely scenario. Got caught in some ice in the combat bob when she acted. One little mishap. Happens even to the best. But no way to know for sure. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, we need hard evidence, not speculation. Reed, I needn't remind you what this means for the NUS's national security. Besides, she's your prodigy, Saul. You taught her all your tricks. Hell, even recruited her. She and V have a unique... Uh, bond. It's a lead. Our only one for now. You two have to find her. Together. I already died for the cause once. Not enough? What do you mean, already died? What has Myers told you about me? Said you led an intelligence cell here. Went into hibernation at war's end. So she omitted the fact that Arisaka tried to smoke me. <clears throat> and that I ended up in intensive care with three bullet holes. That six months had passed before I could take a shit on my own. Huh. Might have slipped her mind. Convenient. Well, now you know. Let me get this straight. You abandon Reed and NC, leave him for dead, and now expect him to jump right back into shit? Newsflash, Madam President. Got a hell of a debt to pay. 
You're right. I'm sorry, Reed, for those seven years. Is that enough to get us a fresh start? I'm here. I'll help. But I'm doing it for Somi and my country. Call me naive if you like. As for you, V, you said in the car a songbird hired you, correct? I don't know how much he's paying, but you better ask yourself, is it worth it? Songbird's my only shot at surviving. Got Arasaka's relic in my head. Slowly, surely, poaching my brain. Seems we're all on the same page now, V. Which means we can help each other, too. Agreed. Think so, too. If we want to find Somi, we gotta dig deep. I mean, actual reconnaissance. No stone unturned. We need contacts, informers not afraid to sing, who might see something in it for themselves. You'll need to earn their trust. Big ask in Dogtown. Won't be easy. I need to arrange a safe passage to Washington for Myers. Expect my call soon, V. Thanks. For everything. Buy me a nice dinner sometime. <laughs> you do this often? Invite presidents out on dates? Often enough. Okay. Dinner it'll be. Just gotta survive till then. All right, I need to make some calls. It's me. I need a cab. Two people. Long ride. No, no papers. Not this time. Yeah, Dogtown. Waterfront. Usual spot. Thanks. Done. We should leave. Best if we weren't together. V, you'll go five minutes after we do. Good luck, V. So how do we get out of this little corner of paradise? Let's just say it'll be a bumpy ride. <laughs> just like old times, isn't it? You'll have to excuse my friend. He's sometimes... excitable. Right. You ought to teach him about the value of initial impressions. At least his kind goes guns blazing. I mean, screw those, stab you in the Baxters. So what's the future hold in store for J&T? Two options. We die in Dogtown, or we hit the road, scoop far, far out of here. I guess it comes down to our dear Madam Prez. Will she keep her word? All good, Jacob? Doggone fairy tale, V. This Rosalind chick, piece of work if I ever seen one, thinking we might have had a moment. Shame she ain't finna stay longer. Gonna boost soon. Keep an eye on Jay, will you? One shitty nanny I'd make. Hey, keep it real, V. Gotta evac soon. Watch yourself out now there, Now the world better watch out for Jacob. <laughs> yeah, just remember to knock before you enter any shady-looking digs. See, if I came knocking last night, I'd have missed the chance to meet my babe, Rosalind. And you, I suppose. <sighs> That's life for you, V. There's a lesson in all this, don't you think? <laughs>